but blows her life, knows life. <laughs> you know when you think I've got just about enough time to blow my nose before I go live, and then it tells you live and you realise you didn't have? Yeah, that, that thing. There's only one person out there and not in the chat. Who are you? Who are you, one person? Hope you're not a fringe critic. Uh, hello. It is Sunday. It's Lex Delicious. Hi, Lex. It's Sunday. I have no idea what the date is. What's the date? 23rd. Sunday the 23rd. I'm very tired. Sunday the 23rd of June 2019. Very late because I have been to Caroline's for the weekend. We'll just say some hellos. So, hi, Lexi Licious. Hi, Sam, Scooby, Shaggy, Kath Palmer, Chris B, Rebecca Turner, Lolly Franz, Laurel, uh, Peter Ray, and Andrew. Lex says, I love you. You cheat on me with Caroline. I have been to Caroline's for the weekend. Al's at it. Claire Riley. Uh, did I say Crispy? I think I did. Hi, Crispy. Hi, Claire James. Got several Claires in already, just to confuse things. Hi, Deb Stevens. Why are you at home? Shouldn't you be out somewhere? Hello, everybody. I was in just when I was blowing my nose a minute ago, but hey ho. Still got the tail end of this cough. Don't I look weird without my glasses? I'm sort of peery. Now, the hair is looking particularly splendid because Caroline and I tried that curly hair stuff that Auntie Sue recommended on my hair and not a thing for me. So it's, it's looking particularly dreadful that we're dealing with. There's another Claire. Hi, Claire Sheen. Hi, Joe. Um, I, hi, Lucy. I think I've said hello to everybody. Lex says, I got a lovely copy of the chrysalids today. Have you read it? I have not, no. And Rebecca's been off in the paper chase sale. I bet you did. I'm sorry, I've got Natalie messaging me to ask me if the dog's been well behaved. No, the dog's not been well behaved. Hi, T. Suzanne Davies. So how are you all? Are you all well? Have you had a good Sunday? Well, it's nearly over, isn't it? I'm very, very late. Um, I was down at Caroline's, uh, left there mid-morning. Caroline's not well. I've managed to leave her in a state of unwellness. So she was going back to bed with a bit of a bit of a bug. So uh, we've had a really nice weekend. We had a good day Friday. We went charity shopping all day Friday. We had a barbecue Friday night. Uh, Saturday morning we went to the car boot. It's a very small car boot, so I didn't get a lot. The clothes are taken over. Indeed, they are. Um, hi, Ian. A fringe in his cut, and it does, it does. <laughs> uh, I didn't give Caroline your call, she's got a bug, Lex. Um, yeah, went to the car boot on Saturday, and then we went and had a Weatherspoon's breakfast, and then in the afternoon we went to Torquay and did a bit of ordinary shopping and stuff like that. So we had a really nice weekend, but now she's wiped out and not very well. And I am knackered. I slept very, very well the first night. Caroline's guest room. You will have seen Caroline's guest room if you've watched her videos. It is the one with the old Keely wallpaper. It is beautiful. It's better than many hotel rooms that I've ever been in. And I slept beautifully the first night and absolutely rubbish the second night. So there's no sense in that at all. It's an absolutely rubbish night to sleep last night. But then I did wake up with a headache in the middle of the night. So, Hi, Joan and Richard. Andrew says this disease is spreading across the reselling community. We've got resellerites. <laughs> Um, I'm glad you're here, Andrew, because you may remember in last week's live stream, we talked about Andrew having been sent lots of peas to his table in Weatherspoons, and he said that he went out and gave them to the homeless. And I joked and called him Pea Man and suggested that somebody should draw me a picture of Pea Man and send it. I think I asked Shiv, and sure enough, Shiv has come up trumps and has sent a wonderful picture of Pea Man. Now, there is an accompanying letter. Shiv's not in yet, so I want to read this out anyway. Yes, it is, Lex, yeah. <laughs> it says, dearest Carla, feck me, mate, I'm trying to make friends, but I think two blokes are going to hate me. Oh, well, smiley face. I think it's funny. Hope you do. I love these two fucking idiots, but Steve won't chat to me. Did he take offence? Oh, well. Oh, well, I like man bashing. Thanks for my badge. It came today. Love him. I got shiv. And um, in the package, there was quite a lot of Reese's, which is always good. Always a good thing. Plenty of Reese's. Bless her, she sent me some Fisherman's Friends <laughs> for my cough. And she also sent me a packet of tissues, which I have actually used already. <laughs> and also, of course, there was a picture, a wonderful picture, because Shiv is an amazing, um, amazing sketch artist. So I'm going to do that wobbly camera thing. Everybody close your eyes while I move the camera, otherwise you're sick. So here we go. This is a picture of superhero andrew now on my screen the writing's back to front but hopefully you guys have got it the right way round it's all right car and i came home while you were already live love you didn't get in my way you were absolutely fine i just didn't pop into yours because i was sorting me sort my life out 
<laughs> is the writing the right way around on your guys' screen? Can you tell me? Somebody tell me. Okay, so it's Superhero Andrew. I'm going to start at the top. So here's Superhero Andrew, dressed in his P-Man costume. Here's a pint of cider. Now, the pint of cider is on a little wiggly thing. And underneath the little wiggly thing is a very small <laughs> little wiggly thing. <laughs> So it says, um, I'm six foot four, you know, because Andrew apparently needs to, it's got, he's got a little crown, look. Um, he's handing out peace to the homeless. The homeless are Stee, <laughs> who is on Neil Beer by Mouth <laughs> and has got bras hanging out of his pocket again, as usual. I'm six foot four, you know. I prepared and cooked them myself. No beer, my son. I have a pee. Sorry, I've got, my, I've got the camera in the wrong place. Peace be with you. Peace be with you, my son. <laughs> and then over here, is um barty is that is that is that is that your dog andrew he's called barty i've seen a little dog but i wasn't sure what his name was and uh, it says is that carla's slave that loser uh, peking man or peking fecking duck <laughs> oh shiv's in hi shiv we're just showing people your picture sorry i've lost it with the camera every time i laugh the camera goes one good it is absolutely amazing it's a fabulous picture shiv you're so talented i wish i could draw Joan says she missed the wiggly thing. It's under there. <laughs> very, very small. Yeah, and so that's that's Barty. That's your dog then, Andrew, in the bottom corner there. And Steve's on nil beer by mouth because he's giving up alcohol, you know. And uh, and I'm loving the P-Man costume. Quite quite taken with the sandals, Andrew. Do you wear sandals? <laughs> Do you wear sandals with your with your P-Man costume? <laughs> it is. It's, sorry, I'm gonna cough. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, sorry, I've still got still got the tail end of the cough and when I get carried away I cough and splutter <laughs> Isn't that the most wonderful thing you've ever seen, apart from this wonderful thing that is the most wonderful thing I've ever seen as well Andrew says he does own a pair of sandals, do you wear them with your P-Man costume? Oh, Shiv, you are a genius you're very, very talented, I love it, thank you for my prezzies and um, yeah, and it's it will go on the wall. Although I'm running out of I'm running out of visible wall space. I'll have to I don't know. We'll have to start panning the camera around a bit to show people what's up there. <laughs> hi, Lil and Elf. Sorry, hi, Carmen. I didn't say hello to you properly because you were um, apologising. Hi, South London reseller. Hi, Heather. Um, a couple of people have come in while I was showing that, and I've missed you. So I'm sorry. Hello, everyone who's just arrived. Hi, Lolly Frads. Scrolling back, but the chat's moving. So, so yeah. Thank you, Shiv. That is marvellous. And I also had something else in the post this week. Uh, this is not for the wall, but I thought I would show you anyway because um, it's very typical of the sender. I needed some Gavin and Stacey discs. Uh, Natalie was trying to catch up on Gavin and Stacey before the new one comes out because her boyfriend had never seen it. And we discovered half of our discs were missing out of our box set. God knows where they've gone. So I thought, who is the man for tracking down dvds i asked tom and he, he said yes he had them so he sent me the, the discs i needed which was very kind of him and he also sent me this it says hello hope this is what you need <laughs> he's also included the ashes <laughs> yes i have my own copy of the ashes it's got dickhead of the week on there which is tom's um tom's branding <laughs> and i think i think that's tom's signature down there as well so i've got a signed ashes disc from tom thank you tom you're a star for sending me the discs i needed and, and who, well, I'm going to sit and watch the ashes this evening, obviously. That's my Sunday night sorted. Thank you, Tom. So there we go. Um, yeah, there we go. I've done it all back to front because I've shown the the, um, the wall stuff first. But do you want to see what I got when I was down at Caroline's? There, we did a lot of charity shops. And like I said, there's a little bit from the car boot sale. So it probably won't come out in the right order. Rich is laughing about the ashes. Don't you laugh, mate, because it'll come to you next. Maybe this, maybe this disc of the ashes can do a tour of the UK. Okay. I picked up. Andrew says I'm amazed Tom managed to find the disc with an organisation. Organisational? Organisational. Or, organisational system. These are only two at Sainsbury's, but they are brand new, unworn. They were only three quid. They're my size. I will try them, but the last pair of... We used to call these daps when I was a kid. You still call them daps? They were too tight for me there, but I'll try them. And if not, I'll be able to sell them for more than three quid. So they were worth it, worth picking up on the off chance. 
Peter says, question, any videos to quote from Weekend Away? No, we didn't film anything, Peter. We didn't do anything for, Car for um, Caroline's vlog. We didn't do any lives. We did nothing. Basically, we had a very, very chilled, relaxed weekend. It was really nice weather. And so we just made the most of the weather, sat in the sun and, and went shopping and potted about. And yeah, but no filming, I'm afraid. So one day I'll film a bit of Newton Abbott for anyone who wants to see it. Or maybe Caroline will. Okay. Also from the same charity shop, these were 4 95 Brand new sketches, go go max. No, go walks, go walks, go walk one. I think rather than go, I've got, I've got go walks anyway. Anyway, four ninety five for brand new sketches. Can't be bad. We did, we did pop up. Carmen's reminded me that we did pop in a say hello on the cellar ladies live. We just gate crashed the cellar ladies live, went woo, and then shot off again. <laughs> yeah, Peter says I can understand the need not to film and just chill. Andrew is um, inviting Peter on a weekend away. Have fun, Peter. Thailand Heaven says, I'm in Thailand now. I still don't want to miss your stream. Bless you. I hope not costing you a fortune to watch it. Debs, what size for what, love? Which are you asking about? The, well, it doesn't really matter. They're both the same size. They're a UK 8 and the blue ones are a UK 8. So, same size regardless. This was £3.50 from the charity shop. It is a uh, Marks and Spencer's roofed front tummy swimming costume three pound fifty in a size 16 i think peter's liver wouldn't survive a weekend away with me peter's up for it look if you like andrew you it's a size 20 you'll regret that peter you'll regret it completely imagine spending a weekend with andrew dishing out peas to the homeless <laughs> we did not have an orgy lex that did not happen caroline and i are very well behaved when we're together <laughs> uh, this is again it's only MS, but it was there was a half price sale in the ymca shop and it's 70 percent angora so it's marks and spencer 70 percent angora little jumper and that was one pound 25 so why wouldn't you at that price why wouldn't you people are laughing about andrew's even got a liver uh, this again was in the half price charity shop this is jewels i wouldn't have gone seven on it which is what they originally priced it at but since it was half price and down to 375 I thought I'd nab that. That's a tunic. I think it's a tunic dress, but it's not got pockets, which is, they're more popular with pockets. Ladies like a pocket. Andrew says his liver's kept in a jar and he gets outstairs like occasionally. That's not how you spell occasionally. I don't know what happened to your keyboard then, mate. Heather says Andrew's liver is probably the size of a pea and has been slapped so hard it has the density of a black hole. <laughs> and Carmen says in the last six months I've had one glass of rosé and a Bailey's. That's more than me, love. <laughs> Okay, this pile then is all car boots. I didn't get much at the car boot, but I did get some Moshulu shoes. They were two pounds. I got a Smiggle pop-out pencil case for 20p. Wait, 20p for Smiggles. Oh, it's all going wrong. All going wrong. I got a little Kath Kidston purse for 20p. Again, nothing very exciting there, but it is a three-section purse. None of the sections have got a 20 pound note in. One of these days, I will buy a purse and it will have money in it. This is my... This is the dream. But yeah. Um, and then these three for £12 for the set. So this is probably the pickup of the day from the car boot sale because they're all brand new with their tags. It's a Kipling Olana brand, uh, handbag plus matching iPad case and clutch stroke purse stroke bag. All for 12 quid. So the bag will go for 25 to 30, maybe even 35. And then the smaller bits will go for easily 15 each. So that was not bad for 12. Andrew says his liver defies the rules. Hi, BCP. Hi, Gem Mint 1952 Mantle. That's a heck of a handle to be spitting out. Andrew says, I see KFC has re released a new video today. Is it all closed? If so, I don't need to watch it. I haven't seen it. I've not long got home. Uh, now we're going back to Friday now. I've got to try and remember what I paid for things. Hopefully they've still got their tags on. Yeah, this was $2.99. Again, half price in the charity shop. $2.99 for a Roman dress. I never used to buy Roman, but they seem to be getting very expensive in stores. So I thought I would go on that. It's kind of a lace, a lace overlay dress. I can never remember what this kind of piping trim is called. It's a lace overlay dress and suitable for weddings and so on and so forth. So I thought I'd go on that for three quid. Lex says it's chopping it down. Uh, 
like I said, like I said, I never used to buy Roman, but they're starting to get expensive, and so I, and they, and they're well known for um, wedding wear. You know, not 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 the wedding dress the bride wears, but wedding guest wear. So worth looking at them when you're flicking through the Cornelli trim. Thank you, Alzatic. Tick. You are so clever. When you're flicking through the rails and you see the label, it's worth actually paying more attention to the actual. I wouldn't necessarily buy all of it, but yeah, definitely worth definitely worth looking these days. Al Alzatic says it always goes well for her. And Lex says, I've sold Roman quite a few times, especially their tapestry coats, because they are lush. I haven't seen one of them. Uh, uh, Andrea? I wasn't with Andrea. Caroline got a gorgeous Desigual tapestry, no, Desigual patchwork coat this weekend. She bought it from eBay to flip it. Oh, beautiful, beautiful coat. I'd wear that if I were a much, much slimmer person. Ta doctor saying, Lex, she didn't have an orgy with Caroline, but for Super Chats, you can watch your sucker be Fisherman's Friend, just saying. It was very kind of Shiv to send me these, but they are a bit fierce. So I'm not putting one of these in my mouth unless I get appropriate super chats. Because these are the kind of things that make a. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> That's what happens when you suck a fisherman. <laughs> Andrew says, I might just go to Aldi and buy some cider instead. Instead of what? I don't know what. Oh, instead of watching KLC's stream? And SD is accusing me of being married to Nick again. I have no idea what's going on there. That's a bit of a mystery. Peter Ray says it's cloudy there, and yesterday was around 25 degrees when he was out and supposed to be warm next week. We are supposed to be getting some better weather, aren't we? It's very overcast here again today. Hi, Aaron. Aaron or Aaron, I'm not sure. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing you. He says, finally caught you live. Love your channel. Your hair is very kind of you to say so. It's just my face, mate. Hi, Janet Plant. <laughs> um, were these half price? I think they were. Yeah, Laura Ashley um lightweight denim are they a linen blend denim i don't know they're they're definitely a lightweight denim they're a bit thin on that side they've been worn by a pork i can always see through them or maybe they're a bit thin on all the sides don't know perhaps somebody's pork they're 100 linen somebody's pork over stretched them slightly linen with roll tab roll tab hemline and half price so well, how much should i say 249 oh steve likes to say nicolandra instead of nicolandria i see Lex says it's coming up with an error message when trying to supercharge. I don't know what that would be. Don't tell me YouTube have decided I can't eat Fisherman's Friends for money. Can't prostitute my throat for money. <laughs> Do keep trying, Lex. Maybe you're not putting enough. Maybe it only, maybe it only accepts super chats of like £100 or something. Maybe. Cough, cough. <clears throat> Broken a bloody nail again. I've been taking my vitamins that Shazad sent me religiously for a week now, and I do not have nails like like the strength of 10 men, so I don't know what's going wrong. It's not from not trying. Pixie Dust Gaming says, oh my God, what did I just walk in on you saying? I don't know, love, which pit was it? <laughs> and Karen wants to know how Molly is. Molly's in disgrace, which is why you can't see her. Molly is on her bed feeling very sorry for herself because I didn't love her when I came home because she chewed up the sofas again. So she's sitting on her bed feeling very, very cross and sorry for herself. If she would stop chewing up the sofas, I'd be able to love her a lot more. Andrew says I'd love a £100 super chat. I've never had a £100 super chat. Never had that. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't say no, but I've never had one. Lexi sent me a picture. I probably shouldn't show you guys. Oh, it just says error, try again. It's not enough, Lex. Try hundreds, mate. Try hundreds. Don't really... If, if, don't really send me hundreds because you'll want it back and I won't be able to send you it back because I don't get it from YouTube for God knows how long. This is Bowden. It was 149. It's just a little twist front, not even a twist front, a little gathered front vest top, but £1.49. Worth a go. Worth a go. No need to shout, Lex. <laughs> Pixie just came in just when I was talking about prostituting my throat. <laughs> this is also Bowden. These were 4 99 They're just kind of pale blue. Sorry about the noise in the background. Neighbours decided to cut his hedge for the first time in 100 years. Thanks, Richard, if you're watching. Well, I'm watching later, obviously not watching now, he's putting his head. But yeah, Bowden cotton chino style jeans. I don't know, I don't chin cotton thing of me, there's my keywords. Thailand Heron is asking Andrew what he would do for a hundred pounds super chat, and I feel like we're not going to like the answer. I shall. <laughs> Hang on while I shut the window. Thank <laughs> you. 
He's a man who's cutting his hedge. You didn't find that funny at all? I'm sure he didn't come up here and cut me with his hedge trimmer. What have I missed? Uh, Andrew's open ideas. Peter, Andrew has a 500 sub special next week. Do you? I'm close to 2,000, I think, but I don't know how close. Lost track of it a bit. I should do something for 2,000, shouldn't I? Maybe do a giveaway or something. I don't know what. If you're, if you're watching and you're not subbed, please sub and then maybe I'll do a giveaway. But obviously, every time you sub, you have to super chat. A million pounds. Super chat's not working. <laughs> right, what have I missed? Carmen says, I didn't hardly look at the clothes in Hartley Pool. It was all about the shoes. Yeah, that's Buddy kicking off because I was talking to Richard out the window. Hi, Sam. Dave says, what time is it? I'm confused. It's, um, it's 23, Dave. I'm very, very late. I've been down to Caroline for the weekend. And it's a charity shop hall instead of a car boot hall, just to confuse things further. I bought two plus size dresses and tried them both on and looked fucking state in both of them. Like you would not believe, like, like a proper fucking dog's dinner in each of them. To the point where Caroline, bless her, couldn't help smirking. This one was four, I think that says. You think I know, I'm the one who paid for it. I think that was four pounds. Plus size kind of, got to go to a wedding, what the fucking fuck am I going to wear? They looked awful in them, absolutely dreadful. And this one, as well as looking dreadful, also felt dreadful. Bye Pixie. <laughs> that one is um, a blue velour floral number. They're both, like I said, they're both plus size. They were both, well, you could see the plus size because they fitted me, but they didn't look good. Hi Jason. Andrew says, is anyone live on Tuesday night? I don't think anyone does go on a, sta a standard on a Tuesday now because um, obviously Nick and Andrew moved theirs to a Thursday. So I don't think you'd be stepping on anybody's toes on a Tuesday. But if I'm wrong, please do shout if there's anywhere out there has got a regular Tuesday show that I didn't know about. Uh, little phase eight peasant style blouse. That was 250. I think we're nearly done. Yeah, last couple of bits. Last couple of bits. Two more swimming costumes. Two pound and one pound fifty, respectively. That one's only Matalan. That one is MS or the other way around. No, that, that was the right way around. So two pound and one pound fifty. I do reasonably well with swimming costumes, mainly one pieces or tankinis. I don't do a lot of big bikinis. And then this, which I bought for the pure nostalgia value because I remembered how much I wanted a Piero bedroom when I was a child. So this is a Piero seashell trinket dish. When I was a kid, it was the in thing to have the Piero duvet set, curtains, bedside lamp, lampshade, rug, tampons, shoehorn, everything. Everything, everything had to be Piero. If you opened that page of the Argos catalogue, you could literally buy the entire room in a Piero print. And um, it was the end thing, and I never had it. I, mean, I was a very deprived child. Very, very deprived child. I had Holly Hobby, which if I'd kept all the Holly Hobby stuff now, nah, it would be worth a fortune. But I had, oh, so they, they, they called it a soap dish. Interesting. Um, but yeah, I had Holly Hobby, and I, and I had Holly Hobby until I was far too old to even want Piero. You know what I mean? So, so yeah, there it is. I was not a depraved child, Lex. I'm a depraved adult. No, I don't, Carmen. I sell them together, but I just list that the top and bottom are different sizes in the title, and it doesn't seem to make any difference. Tat Doctor says, I might go live Tuesday, but then again, I might win your millions. Who knows? Have you bought a ticket? Because that will help. Thailand Heaven says, if you wore that swimsuit, it would get you a £100 super chat. If I wore that super that swimsuit, it would get me locked up, mate. There's not, there's not enough coverage there for a person of my build and stature. <laughs> Definitely bloody not. <laughs> and that's it. That's everything I bought because I was trying to be a bit restrained. Caroline didn't restrain herself at all. Caroline went crazy as usual. No, I was trying to be a bit restrained and there wasn't a great deal at the car boot sale. We didn't go to the one today because we're both rough as arseholes when we woke up this morning. I woke up with a headache and Caroline woke up with a tummy bug, so we didn't go to the car boot sale. 
Andrew says, these rumours of me being live every day are untrue. Not being live on my channel since Tuesday. I checked. That's because you've been on everybody else's bloody channel all week. You haven't got time to go on your own. <laughs> it is becoming Andrew Tube, it has to be said. Today, live on Andrew Tube, it's Andrew. Here's Caroline just talking about you. Did I summon you up? Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. I was just telling people again that you were poorly and that I woke up with a headache this morning and we didn't go to the car boot because of it. And that you just bought plenty of stuff anyway. Lex went to three car boots today. Carmen says, I had the Piero bedding, curtains, lampshade, mirror, pictures and ornaments. Most of it from car boots in the early 90s. Spoiled child. Spoiled child. <laughs> Caroline says, sorry, who's Andrew? <laughs> Yeah, so everybody's saying get well soon, Caroline. I told them all that you were important. I didn't. I didn't go into great detail. I just said that you weren't very well this morning before you started thanking me for sharing your um, your lurgies. And it wasn't my fault. We've established that whatever illness you've got, you didn't get it from me because I haven't got it. So I think it was either like a crazy salad or something on the pizza. I did not say that, Shell. I said she had a bit of a tummy bug. Oh my God! <laughs> Hi, Kelly. Lex says, Andrew is the new messiah of the TAC community. Bye, Jason. <laughs> You're still poorly. Take some um, take some of the things we were talking about. I'm not telling everybody what's wrong with you. Don't listen to Shell. She tells lies. Oh, Karen had Piero but wanted new kids on the block. Oh. <laughs> Andrew says, Tuesday's plan for the special is invite as many YouTubers on my channel as possible to ask me questions while I'm wearing a shrimp mask. It's gone. Lex deleted it when I was reading it out. Lex, you're mean. <laughs> and uh, Tylen Howard says he's not the Messiah. He's a very naughty boy. <laughs> no, she hasn't got a cold, Sam. I haven't given her my cold. I've hung on to that. Kept my cold all for me. Doing very well. Let me just check my uh, messages. Because Oh, one of them's from Caroline. Caroline, you've messaged me. <laughs> I'll answer you in a minute, Caroline. <laughs> we did have very nice desserts. Sorry, I've got a bit signed. Got a bit um bit sidetracked. We had lovely desserts in pet. So maybe it's a maybe it was the desserts that made you poorly. I can't remember what you had. Chocolate tart? Cream? Shouldn't have made you poorly. Yeah, I reckon it was those little spicy bastards that you wouldn't let me try. Thank you for not letting me try those. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was supposed to be giving Shiv a spanner and I can't see her now. Shiv, you need to type something in the chat if you're still there because I can't hand you out a spanner until I can see you, love. Chocolate salted caramel pie thing with space dust. There's, there's keywords for you, pie thing. Andrew, you're not getting a spanner on my channel. I'm not having spanner wars with you and Lex on my channel. Bam! Bit of class, love. Bit of class. <laughs> Hi, Margaret. <laughs> so, yeah, I've shown you what Shiv's amazing picture. If you weren't here earlier on, oh, there you are. Shiv's sister. Let me see if I can. Bear with, bear with. God, YouTube's slow today. Okay, Shiv, I think you've got a, I think you've got a spanner. I think, but be. be, be sensible with it otherwise i'll take it away again um yeah so just in case you've joined since i showed this earlier on this is shiv's amazing picture of andrew dressed as pea man handing out peas to the homeless the homeless represented by Stee, and his dog barty in the corner just generally taking the piss fabulous picture absolutely love it andrew's not sending out any pics of himself eating kale where they go thank heavens for small mercies eh Ian wants to know if it's sunny in Wigan, but I don't know if he's, who he's asking because I'm not in Wigan. So, so yeah, I've had a lovely weekend down at Caroline's. I've got a spare birthday cake, which is always a plus. I didn't mention that today. You were wondering where the birthday cake came from. It's Ryan's birthday tomorrow. And Natalie asked me to pick him up a cake. I picked him up a cake after I picked him up a cake. She said, by the way, he wants chocolate. So now I've got a spare cake because I've got a vanilla one. The trials and tribulations of having a spare fucking cake. How will I? What will I do? How will I cope with having a spare? I won't have a spare cake for long, I can tell you. <laughs> mm. 
Neville says he just got the notification. Sorry, Neville, I've been here half an hour, mate. <laughs> and Lex says she really loves kale because she's weird. So, yeah, I've got piles of stuff around me. I, don't, I think Molly's still downstairs. Should I call her up? Should I call up and forgive her? Molly? Molly Boo Boo? Good girl, come on. Hello, boys. Hello, boys. Hello, me. We're going to forgive you. Are we going to forgive you? Come on, everybody. Oh, there we go. I love you. I'm sorry I was cross, but stop being a twat. How's that for a deal? If you stop chewing the sofa, I'll stop being cross with you for chewing the sofa. I think that's a really reasonable deal. Erin says, what are your sales like, mine are rubbish? They've not been too bad this week, Erin. They're on the they're on the up a little bit, thank goodness. But they had to be because there wasn't any more down where they could go. So they had to come back up. You all right, Dylan? You okay? I love you. Just, you need a bath. Why do you smell? Why do you smell? You need a bath. Yeah, I love you. You can get down. Good job. There we go. I've forgiven the dog. I've forgiven the dog for chewing the sofa this time. She'll chew the sofa again tomorrow and we'll go through all this again. Peter's got me listing this afternoon. I've got to get some listing done. Lex says Shizuma, her cat Shizuma just meowed to my whistling. And it, and it also can have confuse the heck out of Heather's cat, apparently. I'm quite pleased that I've trained her to come to a whistle. That's um, that's a bit of a plus. So if I could train her to stop eating the damn sofas, we'd be winning at life. <clears throat> Andrew says Sellerland is on my channel tomorrow, constant self-promotion for an hour, and then me doing some cooking is the plan. Have you done your Josh macaroni cheese cooking video yet? And if not, why the hell not? Oh, you can't eat that. Ta, that's not food. Silly you. That was not me growling, BCP. That was Kai yawning. <laughs> Uh, Kathy says I'm supposed to be listing now, but found you were on. I am going off again very shortly, so you won't have, you won't better use me as an excuse for long. I do love you. I do. I do. I'm trying to be live on the internet. I'm trying to be live on the internet. You're kind of interfering. Josh is a super young chap. We love Josh. Josh is great. Car is telling Andrew off for something as usual. Catherine says it's my fault she's not listing. Sorry about that, Catherine. You, don't, you feel free to go, mate. I didn't pull you in my... I don't come and collect you all on the bus to watch this. You come in voluntarily. <laughs> um, Andrew says, been unable to eat food for four days, so wait to do the macaroni until I'm better. If you'd done the macaroni instead of whatever meal you cooked that made you ill, maybe you'd not be able to, ill to eat the macaroni, if you see what I mean. I think there's logic in that, sorry. So, yeah, my plan... Change the bottom sheet on my bed. I asked Natalie if she would change my sheets. Um, obviously, I was going down to Caroline's for the weekend. Natalie was having um, Lex and her sister Freya here for the weekend because they've gone off to a zoo place today. And one of them was going to sleep in my bed. So I said, so will you please change my sheets then so, that the children have got, so, so the child has clean sheets to sleep in? She changed the duvet cover and the pillowcases, but not the bottom sheet. Where's the logic in that? So, yeah, um, change my bottom sheet. Make my bed. Might get into my bed for an hour or so and have a nap because I am very tired and my headache is still there just in the background slightly. Might eat some Reese's since Shiv's, um, Shiv's set me up with enough Reese's to last me a couple of days. Might eat some of my spare cake. Ha -ha, spare cake. And then this afternoon, later on this afternoon, a bit more listing. And I might go to the office tonight and get the stuff that I've sold ready to do parcels first thing in the morning. But I might not because I'm also on the dog walk today. Don't know. Night oh, sorry, Nightmare Bugs. I've just seen your question. If you give free PMP, are eBay payments different or do they charge the same? eBay charge 10% plus VAT of every money that you take for your sale and your postage. So, for example, if you sell your item at £10 with free postage, eBay will take 12% of that. If you sell your item at £7 with three pound postage, eBay will take 12% of that. It will work out exactly the same. So the fees do not change. Well, if you if you do free post, they take 12% regardless. Hope that makes sense. Andrew says, with my anxiety, Karen, half the time I'm happy to make it on at all. Sorry, I missed the beginning of that, so I'm a bit lost in the middle of somebody else's conversation now. Catherine says, Reese's will make me better. They're very good. Where everyone knows a headache cure. 
I hope that did make sense, Nightmare Bug. Sometimes I get lost in the middle of my own sentence and wonder if I'm not making any sense anymore. Ian's going to have a power nap, put the washing in and do some listing. See, we're all going to list this stuff, aren't we well behaved? I'm going to list some of the stuff while I got when I was down at Caroline's. I'm going to list 10 of my clothing items for my sacks. I've got more sacks to pick up on Tuesday and I haven't yet worked through the last lot of sacks. So there's one, two, three, there's 50 items under the desk from the last lot of sacks. And then there's... I don't know if this cupboard door will open enough for you guys to see. Can you see in there? Not properly. Um, there's at least another 100 items in the cupboard out of sacks that haven't been listed yet. So I need to pull out the old finger and crack on with some of this shit. I haven't done enough work, is the bottom line. In the last two weeks, <clears throat> in the last two weeks, I simply haven't done enough work with the excuse that I've had a cold and that I felt bleh. I've spent a lot of time in bed. The weather hasn't helped. I, I don't deal well with greyness. Um, I just about managed to make it through the winter looking forward to the summer. And then when the summer doesn't come, I spiral into a kind of a miserable, resentful, where the fuck is the summer mood. Um, and then I want to stay in bed even more. So having had the cold and feeling like that makes you want to stay in bed. You know, I kind of had a double excuse not to get up. And, and I can't list from my bed. I know a lot of you list on your phone, draft on your phone. And I just can't do it. I don't like my laptop. I make lots of excuses. I can hear myself making excuses. I know there are excuses, not reasons. But the bottom line is I haven't done enough work for the last couple of weeks, so I need to step it up a bit. Uh, Nightmare Bug says, how many years have you been on eBay? 14,012. Um, I joined, I started my my first sale was 2003, so 16 years. I've been eBaying 16 years. I have 16 years experience of reselling, and I'm still shit. Hope that makes new people feel better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Carmen says, me and Indy saw a Reese's hamper in a sweet shop, Carmen, both thought of you. It's lovely of you to think of me. Did you buy it for me? <laughs> I'm joking. You don't have to buy presents. You do have to. You don't. You do. You don't. You, don't, you, don't, you can if you want. You don't have to, but you should. <laughs> Catherine says, I've just taken pics of tiny baby clothes and shoes. So I'll be listening to them this afternoon. Laney's going to watch a film. What film are you going to watch, Laney? Uh... Andrew says, do we have summer here with a question mark? No, that's the problem. Deb is off to pickle. Um, to actually pickle some vegetables or to get pickled? Lady Ray says, I want to see John Wick, but I've got some black mirror to catch up on. Catherine says, I hate summer, love winter. love winter. Summer gives me anxiety. Wouldn't it be great if you could swap seasons with people who don't want them in some weird way? Andrew says, don't buy presents. Send Carla pictures of me instead. She prefers it. Do both. Send me pictures of Andrew, which I find hilarious, and gifts. Don't have to send me gifts. Anyone watching this who is not used to my constant bullshit would be going, can you hear this cheeky fat bitch asking people to send her money and gifts? <laughs> I knew people. <laughs> right. Pickle is Ali's nickname for hot rod. Okay, why pickle? Is it very small and green? <laughs> Lex says, your birthday party, my brother, Lex did not say that. Lex says, oh, Carla, your birthday present arrived and it's awesome. I saw you wearing it. The birthday present I sent you. It was awesome. You look great. I don't know what his surname is, Dev, so there you go. That's why that won't make any difference to me. Andrew says, I ask people for money and gifts every day. I get sent peas and hot sauce. <laughs> well, there you go. That's what asking. My nanny used to say, them as asks, don't get. And I used to think, but if I don't ask, you won't know I want it. Oh, the one you've bought me is awesome. I'm looking forward to that. We need to do some get-togethering at some point, Lex Alicious. At some point, we need to do a thing. Oh, Hayward for the pickles, I see. Okay. As Ian would say on the script, I'm waffling. Ian says, you're not a cheeky fat bitch, you're not cheeky, not cheeky or fat. However, apparently I am a bitch. <laughs> I am fat. And if you can't see that, you should have gone to Specsavers. Neville said it's three degrees there. That sounds chilly. It's cold enough here. It's very grey for late June. Um, yeah, as, as Ian would say on the script, uh, where is it? Let me just get the line off the script. I'm going now because I've shown the tart I bought and now I'm just rambling crap. <laughs> Hi, Adendri. I'm sorry. Adendri always seems to come in just when I'm going. You're going to start taking it personally. It's nothing personal. See you later, Dad. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just going because I've finished saying anything of any merit. Not that there was anything much of any merit in the beginning. 
thank you for joining me this afternoon. <coughs> I'm sorry that it's late and not um, not a morning show as usual. There is a script for this, Andrew. You must have missed the episode where Ian sent me the script for my Sunday lives. I will rush through it for you. Um, God, my fringe knees cutting. Hashtag team one. God, my fringe knees cutting. Dogs, be quiet. Please send lost or homeless Reese's to me. When next days we top and tail. Not a true thing. God, my fringe knees cutting. Pepsi Max and Reese's Queen, they're all mine. More ha ha ha. I bought these, but it's blank's fault. No mugs or Harry Potter to see here. God, my fringe needs cutting. Welcome to the madhouse with a broom cupboard. Please don't send me news. Did I mention my fringe? No, Lex. Fringe. Ali, come and sort my tat while I chat on YouTube. I ripped Steve's arm off and hit him with a soggy end. Talk amongst yourselves. I need a wee. Have I had a ka since Brexit started? Has my fringe grown during this stream? My journal drawing is awful. Lie, it's awesome. I'm going now because I've shown the tat I bought and now I'm just rambling crap. Car boot and McDonald's breakfast. Mmm. I waited that long at McDonald's, my fringe grew. Dogs, why are you barking? Because we can smell McDonald's. This is why we tune in on Sunday, he says. So there we go. That's that's my script, which is um, I don't I don't know where he got these commonly used phrases from. I'm, I'm, I I cannot imagine. <laughs> Claire says, thank you for all. She didn't think I was gonna see me today. Well, I nearly didn't. I nearly didn't because I'm coming back from Caroline's late. And whatever and i thought you know people won't want to see me in the afternoon and i'm right probably most people don't but you know then i thought i would and i did you're right molly moon i love you i love you molly you beautiful girl you are a terribly terribly behaved dog but i do love you oh missed off hashtag call merch you did ian you missed off hashtag call merch <laughs> right thank you for tuning in shiv's picture will go up on the gallery wall Everybody have a fantastic Sunday. Hit the thumbs up button if you've enjoyed this. Don't hit the thumbs button 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 if you, don't, if you haven't enjoyed it because that would be silly. Um, I'm going to eat a cake, maybe a whole cake. I'd like to point out it's not a huge cake. It's not like a massive tray bake feeds 87 people cake. Perfectly reasonable one person portion of cake. Maybe not. Right, I'm going. Have fun at Aldi. Everybody have enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Some people get some work done. See you all next week, I think. I don't think I, there's no reason why I shouldn't be here next week. Love you all. Take care. Bye for now. Bye -zy bye. Where's the end button? Might be here forever. Yes, I'm sure. Won't let me out. You might be stuck with me. <laughs>